Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's take a look at the nested routes feature with React Router. So far, we have seen how React Router helps us navigate across pages in our application. But what you should know is that React Router also helps to switch between a portion of the view inside a page. If that is a little confusing, let me explain with a simple scenario. In our current application, consider a third navigation link called products. When we click on the link, we are navigated to slash products, which renders a new products page. Now this is something we are already familiar with. But now within this products page, we have something special. We have a search bar to search for a product but below the search bar, we have two more links, Featured and New. If you click on Featured, the URL updates to slash products slash Featured. The search bar and the links will stay in place and only the UI below the link will change and render a list of featured products. If you click on New, the URL changes to slash products slash New the search bar and links will stay in place, but the list of featured products is switched with a UI that renders a list of new products. As you can see, only a portion of the UI changes based on the route. To achieve this, we make use of nested routes. Let's head back to VS Code and understand how it works one step at a time. Step one, we are going to configure a new route to the products page and add a link in the nav bar. So within the components folder, create a new file called products.js. Within the file, create a component that renders a search input. So input type is equal to search and placeholder is equal to search products. In app.js, add a new route. So route path is going to be equal to products and element is going to be equal to the products component we have just defined. Make sure to import the component at the top. In navbar.js, add a third link to slash products. So copy the about link, paste it and change slash about to slash products and about text to products. If we now head to the browser, we should have the products link and products page working as expected. For step two, we're going to add another set of navigation links within the products component. So I'm going to wrap with fragments and add a nav tag. For the links, we need the link component from React Router. So at the top, import link component from React Router DOM and within the nav tag, the first link is going to be for the featured products and the second link is going to be for new products. On the link component, we specify the two prop. Now this is going to be featured and the second one is going to be new. Make sure you don't include the forward slash for the nested route. If we save this file and take a look at the browser, you should see both the links. However, we have the same appearance as the primary navbar, so let's make the style more specific. In index.css, I'm going to change the nav styling to a class selector. So dot primary nav and in navbar.js on the nav tag, add class name is equal to primary nav. If you save the file, 
Now we have a clear primary navigation and the new set of links. For step three, we're going to create two new components that need to be rendered for featured products and new products and also configure the new routes. So back in VS Code in the components folder, create two new files, featured products.js and new products.js. Within both the files, create a simple component that reads the corresponding text. List of featured products, copy, paste, and change featured to new. So list of new products. The actual content doesn't matter as long as it's different. Now, what we need to do is configure new routes for these two components. More specifically, configure nested routes. Now, both the components have to be nested within the product's route. For nesting, we're going to change route from a self-closing tag to one that has a closing tag. So opening tag and closing route tag. Within the opening and closing tags, we're going to define two new routes. So route path is equal to featured and element is going to be equal to featured products. Similarly, route path is equal to new and element is equal to new products. Make sure to import both the components at the top. Now what is special about nested routes is that React Router automatically forms the full path to the children routes. So featured is actually slash products slash featured and new is slash products slash new. We have now configured routes to render the child component within the parent component. That is featured products or new products within the products component. However, the products page still doesn't know where to render the child component. For that, React Router provides an outlet component. So import it at the top and invoke it below the nav tag. And that is pretty much the code required. Let's test it out. In the browser, click on products and the URL changes to slash products. The products component is also rendered. Now click on featured. The URL changes to slash products slash featured and we see the list of featured products being displayed, which corresponds to the text from the featured products component. Click on new and the URL changes to slash products slash new and the new products component is rendered. We are able to change only a portion of the UI in the same page whenever the URL changes. This is how nested routes feature works with React Router. Let me summarize what we have done. We first created a products component and configured a route for the same. Path is products and element is the products component. We then added a link in the navbar to navigate to the products page. We then created two more components for featured and new products. But this time we configured the routes to these components as nested routes. We did that by including the route component within a route component. Since the parent route component path is products, the child component path will automatically have the parent path as a prefix. So the new routes become slash products slash featured and slash products slash new. But the parent component needs to know what to do with these child components in the routes tree. For that, we used the outlet component from React Router. The outlet component renders the component corresponding to the matching child route from the parent list of routes. 
Nested components, as you can see, is very powerful. One of the common use cases of doing this is to have a common layout for a feature in your application. The parent route will render the layout component, if you can call it that, and within the layout component, use the outlet component to render different child components. All right, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.